hello guys so welcome back today is day five of my seven day challenge on this channel so in today's video i will talk about youtube monetization things you need to be aware of and some of youtube community guidelines and policies you need to be aware of because i know many of you will be monetizing your channel shortly like in the coming weeks or months you guys will be applying for your youtube monetization so if you know you are going to be monetizing very soon please let us know in the comment section and how soon do you think you'll be applying for the youtube monetization so i have this lady a youtuber that you know came around that chatted me up about an issue with her channel she have started her channel like almost a year and she reached the 4,000 watch time hours and the 1,000 subscriber account threshold and she applied for her channel's monetization and if you don't know there are three steps you need to take or you need to take during the application the first one you need to accept youtube terms and condition the second one you need to link an adsense account to your youtube channel then the third one is the stage where youtube will review your channel so now this lady have completed the first two steps remaining the third one and at that third one youtube reviewed the content that is the videos on her channel and they denied her her our monetization so she reached out to me and i checked through her channel and saw some videos that i now suggested that she should take down some of these videos and then reapply again so she has about let me say about about 50 videos on her channel as of when we were discussing and so she took down like about 15 of them remaining like about 30 so she reapplied again and youtube still denied her her application for youtube monetization so now that is the reason why i'm sharing this video because when you get to this point like when youtube deny you or decline your application to monetize your channel that could be very very traumatic because you can imagine all the effort you have you know invested on your channel to get to that point of the 1000 subscribers and the 4000 watch time hours now i'm going to show you the most important things that youtube will check on your channel why they are reviewing it so that when you are when you are planning to apply or when you are getting close to the threshold you need to check that um, check and make sure that whatever thing you have on your channel is clean so here i am on the youtube um, website where they wrote you know they documented everything that they are going to check on your channel so here they said what we check when we review your channel so here they said if you are making money on youtube your content should be original and authentic this means that we expect your content to be your original creation if you borrow content from someone else you need to change it significantly to make it your own so what this means is that youtube allows you to you know to use other people's content on your channel but if you are going to use it you must make sure that you change it significantly now where the problem where the problem with this comment lies is that this significantly is relative which means that we don't know what is significantly whether if you edit two minutes or if you edit five minutes or you edit 20 minutes so but in my own opinion i would advise that if you can make videos on your channel without using other people's content just go that route because this particular first sentence is very, very tricky some people might go ahead and say well youtube allow me allows me to use other people's content and you might use it and you know just like i said this significantly is relative so if you can do your videos on your channel without you adding other people's content that is fine now the second one is that not be duplicative or repetitive your content should be made for the enjoyment or education of viewers rather than for the sole purpose of getting views 
so what this means is that don't make content maybe you uploaded a video before and you you discover that that video was i mean is performing very well then you now have to re-upload it again if you do that just know that youtube will not accept your monetization application so further here it says our reviewers will check your channel and content against our policies since they can't check every video our reviewers may focus on your channels so we have here we have six things that the youtube reviewer will check because definitely if you have like over 200 videos on your channel and you and you are applying for monetization the reviewers they are human beings they won't just sit down and start watching your videos from the beginning to the end so there are some key things that they will check on your channel so those things are what will determine if your channel will be eligible for monetization so the first one is the main theme so what this means is that what is the, the kind of content you are creating on your channel is it educative is it entertaining is it inspiring is it you no know, what kind of what is the theme like on this channel now i do more of tutorials or you know i educate people on my channel so they will know what is the what's the theme of your con i mean of your channel like some channel like one of the where you can you you might have problem with this main theme is like if you do adult content on your channel or it is more of violence if it's violence theme or adult theme all this kind of thing so if your channel is leaning towards that kind of content that means you might not be eligible for monetization youtube will deny your monetization application then secondly most viewed videos so they will also check the most viewed videos on your channel because most times like for example in my own case a video went viral on my channel that led me to to the 4000 watch time hours that i got for monetization so if the most viewed videos on your channel has issue or violate youtube's policy they will deny your monetization application then they also check the newest video that the recent upload you have uploaded to see if there's anything wrong with it then the next one is the biggest proportion of your watch time hours so this i always emphasize on this because this is something that you cannot comprehend like this lady that i have i just talked about earlier now one one of our video that went viral is around at around some something thousand that video has given her up to three thousand i mean up to three thousand watch time hours and my 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 feelings um having that feeling that that particular video could be the video that is denying her harmonization i guess that there's something wrong with that video and she can't she she can't delete that video because if she delete that video that means more up to 3000 watch time hours will be removed from the 4000 watch time hours she she has already gotten and you know what it means it's just like she's starting all over again the next one the youtube reviewer will also check your video metadata so what metadata means is like your title thumbnails and description so if any of these in your on your channel violates youtube's policy it could affect you being monetized so pay total attention you know some of us will be ten tempted to use some you know some attractive thumbnails maybe something that we attract viewers to click to watch our videos so if you know you have used it on some of your videos and you feel that those things will not be okay for you to it's better you change your thumbnails to a more to a more appropriate thumbnail so that you can cross the monetization side of your youtube story so the final one here is your channel's about page so in case if you don't know about your channel's about page that is when you go to your youtube your channel's page that about where you write everything about your channel make sure that there's nothing wrong with it make it simple make it plain don't exaggerate what uh, maybe what your channel is not or what you are not all those kind of things make sure that it's very simple 
and detailed so that when the person that is reviewing your channel check that about page they say that okay this is a normal decent content creator so before i end this video so i have on my page here some of the things you need to be aware about the youtube community guidelines this includes like spam so spam and deceptive practice so if your if your content is like spamming people or deceiving people like here they say content that intends to scam mislead spam or defraud other users isn't allowed on youtube so if you know that you are doing something that is misleading on your channel or some of your videos are misleading then think again that could also affect your channel's monetization then the next one is sensitive content like i don't need to go much about this when you do this kind of content especially this sensitive content and you feel you are safe when someone reports your channel that your channel is violating this one if you already monetize your channel could be demonetized secondly if you are applying for monetization definitely the system can scan this and they will deny your monetization then also if you encourage violence and dangerous and have dangerous content videos on your channel that will not fly youtube also take this seriously then other ones include regulated goods like this is in terms of like firearms like weapons guns and other stuff so if you flash them on your on your videos that could deny you your channel's monetization then finally here we have misinformation that if you if you are spreading fake news on your channel like saying things that are misleading this one sometimes when people report your channel for a, for for a, for fake news or misleading content they could demonetize your channel and if you're applying for monetization if you have any of this on your channel then definitely they will deny your channel monetize they will deny your channel's monetization so this and a lot more but you know one thing i do tell my community is that um you know monetizing your channel on youtube is very simple when you are just a, a, a simple you do your basic content without applying controversies you know going straight to your point if you are doing vlogging you do your vlogging and avoiding things that relates to to health medicals um politics and other stuff especially if it's politics that relates to global politics or american politics avoid them as much as you can then you'll be free with this so now coming back to the lady that you know that complained about her channel being denied monetization it's a very tough one and it's a position where um you as a content creator will not like to be because you know most times when you have problem on your channel youtube will not tell you exactly what is wrong or where you need to fix they will keep you in the dark and that that is the you know the worst place to be when you are creating content on youtube so i've already advised the person i mean the lady that if she have the heart she can just delete everything and start afresh or delete all the old videos around and then leave only the one with over 3000 watch time i mean with about 3000 watch time hours and see if that we fly so please let me know your thought in the comment section what do you think about this is there any better suggestion i mean this content creator can can take from you so that she can resolve her problem very fast and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and please you know shoot your shot on your channel safely be safe because i know a lot of you will be we be we get monetized in the coming weeks and months so please play safe on youtube so that youtube will you know tell your own story so thank you for watching and we will talk soon mm -hmm.